uh, Gulam and Bayo, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, what a fun, what a fun show to be a part of. Tell me what's been your experience for season two. You go? <laughs> yeah, um, my experience has just been exactly that. It's been lots of fun and um, also just lots of revelations about, you know, characters and um, backgrounds and histories that we didn't know filming season one um and so yeah there's been there's been a lot of that and it was just and also it was just such a joy to get come you know be back together again making the show and and we'd already established the core and were quite a, you know well aware of the tone and um the world we'd created so we could just jump right into it and just sort of hit the ground running in season two which was lots of fun to do we see we see that both of your characters uh are very loyal to peter which for viewers, and I don't know if for you guys as actors, sometimes may seem a little frustrating, but fun at the same time. Uh, why, uh, why do you guys think you guys, your characters are so loyal to Peter, despite the, the, the way he is sometimes, the way you, you guys are treated, and maybe even some of his decisions? We can, we can start with you, uh, Willem. Yeah, I mean, uh, ultimately, we have good, good fun with him. Mm. He's, he's a good time. He knows how to throw a party. And I think, uh, you know, that's important to us. Yeah, we love a party. We love a party. Uh, but also, like, you know, I, we've got, well, both of us, but I've grown up with him for, since I was a child. I've mm. seen seen his upbringing. I've seen how his parents treated him and neglected him. And and, uh, and I think that gives a lot of, like, uh, context to his behavior. And that's yeah. why I think Grigor is much more forgiving of him, I think. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. Similarly, I think you know there's a there's an understanding of that context um, and um, like a genuine, I guess, love and care for him uh, despite all his flaws. Um, but also, I think with Arcadia, he's there's also some positioning going on and and sort of trying to align himself um, more closely with, with with power, I guess, for um, for survival, you know, and like self preservation and his family. And I think there's so he's quite like. Um, you know, cognizant of his space within the court and also within this this camp as well. So there's there's definitely some you know positioning as well as genuine love going on there. Yeah, it was, it was interesting. I was going to talk about that because you 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 have your wife and you have I believe six kids. So mm -hmm. I, I think maybe it's it's about you know keeping your position and and being sure to be able to to feed your family. Support, yeah, support your family and keep them safe ultimately because you know it's a very dangerous call. You know, so. Yeah, you know, that's 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 really important to him. It's such a it's such a unique show. What what do you guys enjoy most about it? Do you guys enjoy going back in time, uh, being able to make a the comedy with with that kind of wardrobe? Do you, do you guys enjoy the wardrobe? Yeah. Love the wardrobe. Yeah. It's, it's I mean the writing's brilliant because he's kind of like he's reimagined what a period drama is. Mm. Really, Tony. He's kind of like freed us of all the constraints of like. Mm -hmm what the manner of the time might have been or yeah. how they may have spoken to each other or how they may have held themselves. He's actually thought like, what were these, what are these people like as human beings? And, mm -hmm. and like, how do these characters from history really kind of really engage with each other? Yeah. And it's completely liberating. It's great it to is. be able to just express yourselves as characters from history in the way that we express ourselves now. Yeah, definitely. Because you, you don't, we, we, it allows you to not play it as though you're playing history it just you, you can mm. be quite present and in the moment because you know those characters in that time weren't they were they weren't it wasn't history to them you know it was just it was a day-to-day -day. and i think that like um the way this show is constructed it's written and the tone of it allows us to, to tap into that a lot which is lots of fun and it never it although we're very aware that it's a it's a period piece it it, it always feels quite like modern and fresh and just quite like we we would we could be saying this now. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, but then he still, Tony still manages to intersperse moments of real depth mm -hmm. and real kind of like poetry, really, like uh, and and kind of musings on kind of grief or on heartbreak or on love or whatever. It's amazing writing. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, I really, I really like the fact that, like you gentlemen were saying, it, they, there's modern moments in it where uh, you think that they're going to make progression, but some of the things that Catherine wants to do society in general is like, no, that's not mm -hmm. what we do. And, and, it, and it makes for, for, for comedy moments because you, you kind of get, you kind of get sucked into like, yeah, we're going to progress. And then like you guys are saying, you, you realize you're not in the modern time period. You're, you're in, you're in that era where, where things are done a certain way, especially with her being German. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And it makes for really exciting storytelling as well, because ultimately season one was concerned with her trying to get in power and now she's in there. It's like, well, 
you know, that, you know, trying to get in power was just the beginning of it. Now the journey really starts. And what does that look like? What does it, what does it mean to actually be in power? And I think she had, that's something she's having to grapple with and, and, and have to deal with this season. And also for all the other characters, what does it mean to have this new monarch? Mm -hmm. So it's quite, um, yeah, it made for some really, I guess, interesting dynamics this season for sure. And how do you enact change? How do you, mm. what do you, how do you kind of like drag this mm -hmm. monomythic society into, into the future? How, it's, yeah, it's impossible sometimes. Yeah. yeah, the the strength of of uh, Nicholas Holt and Ella Fanning characters are are just uh, are only as good as the supporting actors who who help elevate them. And I think you guys do a fabulous job. So congratulations on the second season. It's a huge fun mess, and uh, I hope everybody else enjoys it. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you so much, much man. man. Very kind of you. It was nice to meet thank you, you both. Cheers. Take care.